Hey guys, it's Greater, and welcome back to episode 2 of the play of Dungeons of the Endless. Uh, let's just jump right into it. Alright, well, as you saw in the first episode, uh, almost lost one of our one of our heroes, uh, but we made it out alive, thank god. Uh, floor 2, uh, quite a good little store of resources, and managed to get two researches on the first episode, so that was a really big bonus. Uh, we may get lucky and find someone else on this floor, uh, but we shall see. Let's just get to it. Check out our first door. <laughs> Bad start. <laughs> uh, no, nothing at all in this room. Sucks. Oh, and this one too. <laughs> Yuck. Alright, third time's the charm, maybe? Some baddies in here. First two rooms had nothing, though. That's brutal. Definitely have to pop down the module in here. <laughs> Let's keep going. Ooh, a chest. What do we got? I don't know if that's going to be better than our nail gun. I don't think he can use this because he has a machine gun or a large weapon. Yeah, definitely not, but that's okay. If we find a merchant, we can sell it for stuff, so that's no biggie. And we can afford to make our next module, so we're going to drop down the science one. I'm actually going to level him up now because we can definitely afford to do it. I'll do it a couple times. <laughs> that's nice. You're getting a little food back for everything he kills, too, so that's nice. Itself. Science module. That's not bad. What can we look up? Oh, a mechanical pal. He is a very important guy. <clears throat> I don't know if I mentioned this on one of the other videos, but uh, he is uh, basically like uh, can do research, kind of. <laughs> it buffs these. So, like, normally, as you've seen in the other playthrough, you could uh, have a character in here, and it gives uh, a little mechanical sign over their head from their intellect, basically. So, the mechanical pal is basically that, but he's a me robot version. Um, but he's really good, so we're definitely going to save up for that. We're going to leave her in there, and he can keep exploring. At least this area is pretty small, so it shouldn't take too much for me to just unlock this door. Next. This clearly was the better way to go because it's an automatically powered room. <laughs> Definitely gonna research them up. Now we probably are gonna place some prods down here because we're not gonna worry about this side at all. This is, all these rooms are powered. They're only gonna come from this one side if they do at all. Do three for now. We shall see how that works out. Next. <clears throat> Another item, not a bad. Something I can use, hopefully. Really good bladed weapon. Really good bladed weapon. Really high attack power. Um, but we don't have anyone with a blade. Hopefully we find somebody, because that's pretty strong. We shall continue north. Well, enough to power the next room. As usual, we always leave one hero in a dark room, make sure nothing spawns from it, because that would be, you know, could be bad. Another science one. We definitely don't have enough. I mean, next turn, probably. Next. Ooh, a buff. I think that's a science buff, actually, so that's pretty nice. Uh, what can we do here? Claymore, land modules, not bad. Definitely buffs all the buildings, which is pretty nice. Uh, let's run all the way over here. This should have changed. I don't think they're usually identical, but that one might have something we're more interested in. Nope, same stuff. Alright. 
Well. Probably Claymore. Good thing to start for now. Um, might get enough. Not super expensive research wise. Okay, so keep just going to the right. See what we run into. Look at that. That's okay. I've not ever seen this uh, op bot before, but we'll definitely take him. What does he use for a weapon? Whoops. Well, he's got that, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Attack power plus 10. Oh, and it looks like he uses a knife. Well, that isn't that convenient, guys. <laughs> no? He can't equip that? Oh, because he uses like a spear and this is a, like a knife. Poo! That sucks. Uh, you're level 2, but you're pretty cheap to level up, so we'll level him up. Oh, he's got repair and operate as well. That's really good, because repair, that's really nice. Damage modules. And he can operate, so I can have him... Great. Pretty good stats though, he's pretty quick. We definitely need more science research, we're gonna plop him over there. So we'll power this, this one. Wait till he gets over there, which he is. Awesome. Well, that's awesome. I'm excited for that. I've never had that guy before. Found the exit. Uh, just a note with uh, characters as well. If you find any new character that isn't the beginning four, you need to play at least three floors with that character, and then you get to use him whenever you please. And he's pretty good, um, so I'd probably use him in other playthroughs. <clears throat> to the next one. We're going to definitely face off some guys here pretty soon, I think. <laughs> I can hear them already. Nothing you can't handle though, just a couple. Oh jeez, well nothing these guys can't handle. Get wrecked. Is this the last one? No. Lots of bad guys in here, though. We'll head back. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So many bad guys. <laughs> Holy crap. That's a lot of bad guys. Oh my gosh. So many. <laughs> that was close again. Holy, that was a wave and a half. Holy. That was crazy. That was close. <laughs> I think I might have enough for any research. <clears throat> oh, I have three, level three. That's uh, three waves every time I open the door, so that's pretty insane. Yeah, that would be really nice, if I can save enough for it. I don't know how many doors I have left. That for, could be the last one for all I know. What is this one? Uh, I guess I can just send him here. She can just go to this room. Yeah, same stuff. Okay. I thought it was different. I was wrong. Alright, next door. Let's check it out. Oh, there you are. Last one. Oh, chest. That's not bad. Maybe it's a new blade? No, but it is a, blue, a green item. A tutu. <laughs> Can I make him wear it? Oh, I totally could. Maybe. <laughs> Speed and defense, eh? Speed. 32. 34. 18. I mean, it... it Makes it right. Throw that on her. She needs a little extra defense, obviously, because I don't know how much I'll be using this guy right away, but she can, uh, takes a little too much damage. Kind of gentle. Alright, so this is where we start depowering. 
rooms we don't need. Empowering rooms that we want to power. So we can run away a lot faster. But anybody we do not need, we're going to send to this room. How fast is she now? 36. So she's definitely the fastest. Oh, wait. So I want her to go to this room. He'll saunter his way over there. That's why we don't have to worry about any people spawning over here. We can just run really quickly. And uh, the cannons will and everything from this room. Or this, this room and this room will slow everybody down. This is really small. I guess it's only floor two. Alright, let's boogie. Should have quite a few baddies coming. Yeah, they're already attacking some modules in there. That's slowing a few down, so that's good. And they can handle... This This is no big deal. They can handle lots of stuff. And yeah, they just destroyed that one. Here we go. Guess I should be paying attention, because she's almost to the escape room. He just had his head off. There we go. Easy peasy. Floor two. Well, that was a good floor. Found a new friend. A really cool one. You can repair and uh, like work on modules, which is sweet. Lots of lots of industry still. Good bit of science for next round, and lots of food still. So, if you need to any, do any panic healing or anything, we're good. Um, but as usual, guys, like if you like, uh, comment if you got any suggestions or anything you'd like to see me play. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.